Photos of two slaves taken at a taken 170 years ago are now the subject of a lawsuit against Harvard. The pictures of the man and his daughter were commissioned by a Harvard professor in 1850. And now a woman who claims to be a descendant of those slaves says that she should own the pictures because they were unable to give consent. Fox's Laura Engel reports. Haunting images of two 19th century slaves from South Carolina. A father and daughter identified simply as Renty and Delia. Both forced to pose without their shirts and photographed from several angles back in 1850. The images were commissioned by Harvard scientist Louis Agassi, who, according to published reports, was working to prove that black people were inferior to justify their subjugation, exploitation, and segregation. Renty was dragged into the studio, and uh, they took the only thing that hadn't been taken yet from Renty, and that was his image because he could not own property. And, and since 1850, Harvard has had some role in that. And they continue to keep the image and use it to, for profit and prestige. The daguerreotypes, which is an early type of photograph used in the mid-1800s, are believed to be the earliest known images of American slaves. They are also what one family from Connecticut believes are family photos and claim they are now being illegally used by the Ivy League University for advertising and commercial purposes. The Lanier family is now suing Harvard for wrongful seizure, possession, and expropriation and say that the university has refused to return the images to the rightful descendants. This case will force Harvard to look at their complicity as it relates to slavery and finally answer the questions about their role and also to acknowledge that I'm the linear descendant of Renty. Tamara Lanier claims that she learned she is a direct ancestor after tracing her genealogy and says Harvard has wrongfully capitalized on the images by collecting hefty licensing fees to reproduce them using them in conferences, and on the cover of an anthropology book Harvard sells for $40. The lawsuit asks Harvard to turn over the photos, acknowledge Lanier's ancestry, and pay an unspecified amount of money in damages, something intellectual property lawyers say will be challenging. Very difficult, uh, if not impossible, task to establish ownership to the photograph because the subject of a photograph does not have ownership. Harvard has not responded to our request for comment. Lanier is hoping for a jury trial to make her case for punitive damages.